Hello everyone. Now let us see the live demonstration of the ball smasher machine. Uh, for using the machine, we need to first connect with the Bluetooth device. For doing that, I'm going to click on this button and I'm going to select the device with which I want to connect. Now I'm connected with the machine. The first step which I need to do is to turn on the device using this particular button. Now my device is turned on, which means that I can actually rotate the motors at a particular speed depending upon the value which I'm going to feed, right? So, so over here, we need to enter any integer value ranging from 0 to 255. Now let us say I'm going to enter 100 as a value. And when I click on the send button, this particular data will be sent over Bluetooth to MSP430 launchpad. It receives that particular data and adjusts the speed of both the rollers, right? So, so, so these two rollers are connected to two DC motors and the speed of these motors uh, will be controlled depending upon the data which we are sending from the mobile phone application. If I send 100, it's going to rotate them at a particular RPM value. If I'm going to take it up, which means 150, 160, 170, and then in that case, the speed of the motors will increase. And if I decrease it from 100, 70, 80, somewhere around that value, it's gonna decrease the speed of the motor, right? So it's actually the PWM implementation that we are gonna follow over here, right? So when I send this 100 value, you can see that the motor is rotating, right? You can see this both the motors are rotating right so these are the two motors and if i'm gonna send let us say some other value let's increase it to 150 and click on the send button again when i click on this you can see that the speed of the motors has increased right it's creating a lot of noise the speed has increased and now if I want to decrease the speed of rotation of the motors, I can send a value, let us say, close to 90.95. And you send this value and you can see that the speed is diminishing, right? It has, it has gone to a lower RPM value, right? And if you want to stop, you just need to click on this stop button. When you click on this stop button, the motors are going to stop top right so so that's how this machine operates so net, let's let's throw the ball and see whether it's it's gonna be thrown at a certain distance or not <laughs>